Okay, YouTubers, this is Bob Hickman. Well, it is so good to be back with all of you. Well, I promised you another messages from the spirit world, and uh, it's Saturday night, and it's um, time to do that. So, anyways, the letters have been coming in. Thank you for all your wonderful support. I uh, just want to remind you, for those of you who want to jump the queue, who want to get to me quicker, uh, I do do private readings. I am available for hire. Um, if you can't afford my regular rate, I also am doing a Tuesday special. Uh, it's first come, first serve, but it's $10 for 10-minute 10 reading on Tuesday via phone. I'll do a private phone session with you, and it's only $10. And uh, I send out an invoice through PayPal. So if you want to get on my schedule for this upcoming Tuesday, uh, you know, send me an email, go to my website, call me. 571-483-2112, and you can get in. Uh, for those of you who want a more extensive reading, uh, visit my website, and uh, you know, uh, also you can call me as well, and I can explain all that to you. Anyways, guys, it's so good to be here with you. Now, some of you have been writing and saying, Bob, I'm looking for some Christmas gifts still. I don't know what to do. Well, let me tell you, um, you might want to consider my book, Ouija Mysteries. And uh, this book is available at Amazon.com or Barnes & Noble, uh, or you can get it at my Lulu site, so visit my website. So anyways, guys, just Google my website, Bob Hickman Psychic, uh, or go to the link below, and you can um, find out more about how to get my book. Now, remember, I've got a new book coming out uh, in February as well, and that's going to be Messages from Rose. So, we've got Ouija Mysteries and Messages from Rose coming. And I'll have more about uh, the new book coming out, too. But, for the meantime, you might want to pick up a copy of this. It's a great read. It's a lot of fun. It's not expensive. And you get to learn a lot about using the Ouija board, spirit communication, soul rescue, and a lot about my life. Okay, guys. Well, I'm so glad you're here. Well, before we get into all the letters, give me just a moment. And let me attune to the spirit world. Okay. My spirit guide's over here. He says hi to all of you. Okay, my first letter tonight goes out to the pagan boy. Hey, pagan boy, thanks for writing. You know, um, I want to tell you here, um, you know, your struggles, uh, first of all, I feel for you. But this is an indicator that you are one of the bravest of souls because you came to the earth despite all the odds, despite all the negativity, you came here. And the number six that keeps reappearing around you in all its various forms, interestingly, represents the strength of humanity in incarnation. So I think that's very, very fascinating. So don't let that number scare you. In your case, that's actually a blessing. It's a sign, and uh, it means you have power, okay? And, you know, you're here to bless people and to be an example of overcoming many obstacles. So I do feel like things here are going to get better for you. You know, you have also on your chart um, a healer theme, and because you have a healer theme, you're going to be drawing a lot of people to you, okay? And... Um, you know, this is about helping others who have to face struggles in their life, okay? So not to worry. Yes. Fletcher's asking me to tell you that your father um, has been around you. Um, and he keeps saying, he says, your father is repenting of his hostile ways. And he's serving penance now by serving you in your times of need. So you can ask for him. Okay. Thanks for writing. Okay, next letter. 666 Dante Devil 666. Hi, Ash. You know, uh, I have to tell you, I'm very concerned. Um, right now, all around you in your aura, I'm getting a cloud of darkness. And I feel that you are not in harmony with your higher self right now. And I'd like you to spend more time in reflection and in meditation so that you can 
find your way back onto the path of harmony. Okay? So spend more time in prayer and meditation and bring the light into you and be aware of its presence and that will lift you up and set you on the right path. Thanks so much. Okay. Um, let's see here. SJSJJS. Um, first of all, yes, it's fine for um, a, weed, a Wiccan to use the Ouija board. There's no prohibitions. Um, in fact, many Wiccans use the Ouija board. Uh, but the thing that you're struggling with is you're trying too hard. And I want you to learn to just relax into the process. Don't strain it. Just relax and let the communications come. And have fun with it, you know. Because Ouija can also be fun. It's not all solemn. You can enjoy it. Um, and I want you to meditate on your crown chakra. Because they keep showing me that the crown chakra here um, will, as it opens, facilitate better communications for you. And that's where I, I'm seeing improvement, okay? Thanks for letting Okay, Chimp Angel. Um, regarding indigo people, um, you know, a lot of the people who are uh, incarnating right now are from Atlantis. And the Atlanteans are manifesting what we call indigo behavior. You know, people are more mystical, people are on a quest, people don't feel they fit in. And these are life mission entities, and most of them come into the earth to, you know, quest, to seek knowledge, to break down structures. Um, because the Atlanteans were very high-minded people. And so what we're calling indigo people, I believe, are um, actually reincarnated um, Atlanteans for the most part. And they're here to understand the concepts of incarnation and reincarnation. Because they've lived before, they feel somehow disconnected from the current time. They're more attuned to their old self. So um, interestingly, also many indigo people have what we call explorer themes. So these are the people who are always going out seeking new knowledge, exploring, finding new ways of doing things. Very original. But that's what the indigo people are. So yeah. Um, and as far as myself, um, I guess by that definition I'd be indigo because I am a reincarnated Atlantean. And interestingly, I feel that you're one of them as well. Okay. Thanks for writing. Okay. Renoso0126. Um, you know, I don't have a good feeling about you taking that trip. I just, I would rather that you wait until your husband is home and to travel together. I'm just, I'm not having a good vibration about you setting out on your own uh, on that journey. So I'd like you to wait. I don't think it's going to be a problem. But go to Kentucky once he's here, okay? Thanks so much. Uh, Lyra, 1956. Yeah, hi, hun. But let me tell you, your aunt uh, is in spirit, and she's okay. She's not suffering. Uh, but the thing is why she left is she came to an exit point on her chart. Uh, you know, we build in these points where we think, well, we might go home, we might not. And when it came time for that exit point, she chose to take it because she feels that she can do more good now from the spirit world, helping you and the family than she could on earth. And I know that's, that's hard for you to hear and understand, but I also know that she's doing what she has to do for her mission. And she's at peace, okay? And she said she's been watching over you. In fact, she's been visiting you. And I want you to watch your dreams because she's been around there. And she, because she's going to continue to come in the sleep and you'll start to see her. Okay. Thanks for waiting. Okay. 1023 Vander. Um, that's a good question. Yes, in terms of deity and divinity, I do believe in the divine feminine. I call her the goddess. I do believe in the mother goddess. And um, I did do a video about the moon mother. So you can look that up in the listing. It's a few months back. Um, but I did do a video about the goddess and the moon. And I'm going to do more on that. Um, you know, as far as this concept about the new world order, well, let me tell you, I believe the new world order 
is what we make it. So if we believe that it's a, an evil force that's going to control us, guess what? We're going to manifest that. And if we believe that the new world order could actually be enlightened beings who could lead us and help us grow as people, guess what? We'll do that. So it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. So I don't believe that there's already an order and structure who's planning to enslave the world. I just don't believe that. But we have control over what that new order will look like. Okay? Thanks for letting Okay. Um, Dynachek. Hello, dear. Good to see you. You know, I want you to watch the month of April in 2011. I keep seeing somebody entering your life then, and it looks like it will become a boyfriend. Um, to me, he looks... Italian, I'm seeing dark hair, dark eyes, kind of olive skin around him. And um, I keep feeling like he's, you make a connection with him. Interestingly, it's through some sort of schooling or classroom or library, or some sort of institutional setting that has a kind of a structured learning environment. And the name around him uh, is David. Okay, So it looks like April 2011. Thank you so much. All right. Next letter, Amy Becca Neat. Well, listen, hon, thank you for writing. You know, I want you to watch the month of February here because um, I get a lot of creative energy all around you, and I feel like that's a month here when there's like you're drawing to yourself new opportunities and new friends, and you may have a kind of an inspirational month where you start to create art, Music, painting, drawing, all of that seems to come in. And it's like you're drawing new people to you. So month of February in 2011 is a really good time. Okay, so watch that one. Thanks for waiting. Okay, Green Pumpkin, 1978. Hi, yes. Let's know about angels. Yes, everybody does have a guardian angel. Uh, yours is named Tanriel, T-A-N-R-I-E-L. That's your spirit. That's your guardian spirit. And everybody does have a guardian angel. And uh, what you can do to establish communication is ask your angel to give you a sign. So establish something. Like say, whenever I see, you know, um, you know, a silver Cadillac on the road, that's a sign of my angel's presence. And you establish that that kind of sign language, you'll start to get those signs, and they'll. They'll work through that. Also, I want you to watch your dreams because I do feel your angel does speak to you at night in your sleep, okay? And for anybody else who's looking for signs, do watch your dreams, okay? Because the angels will uh, will come through that for you, okay? Thank you. All right. Next letter, Stupid Loser, Channel 69. Okay, now first of all, let me tell you, you are not a stupid loser, okay? Uh, you're actually a gifted person. And, in fact, around you, you have a spirit guide. It's St. Jude, you know, St. Jude the Apostle. Yeah, he's one of your guides. And he keeps talking to me about schooling for you. And it looks like as you go forward in 2011, you're going to go back to school or take on some courses here. And I want you to focus something in the area of artistic studies because it looks like you do really well with that. You have a past life as an artist, and I see you being able to draw from that. But schooling is in order for you. And, and Fletcher says not to worry. There's money available, too, for that. So look into some scholarships. Okay? But St. Jude is your guide. Okay? Thanks for writing. Okay, the you subscriber. Listen, don't worry. You know, you're, you're going to see some improvement. It's not going to be till about March, I have to be honest here. Uh, but I'm seeing another job coming. It looks like it's a part-time job. It's probably like a second job or something like that. It interestingly has a connection to computers. It could be like IT help or something with websites. But I'm getting a lot of computer energy around this work, and I do feel like I'd like you to be open to that as well. But watch the month of March, because you're going to see some improvement there in the finance. OK? Great. Thank you. My goodness, guys, I don't know where the time is. Well, listen, that's all I've got time for tonight. But remember, pick up a copy of Ouija Mysteries. I'll put it up here on the screen. And uh, check it out, okay? And be watching here. Now, also to remind you, keep it here on December 31st when we're having my list of annual New Year's predictions. And you can tune here on New Year's Eve and hear what's coming for the new year, okay? Thank you so much, guys. Blessings to you.
ਲਾਈ